As I remember, Adam, it was upon this fashion bequeathed to me by but will but a thousand crowns. As thou sayest, charged my brother on his blessing to breed me well, and there begins my sadness. My brother Jacques, he keeps at school, and report speaks goldenly of his profit, but for my part, he keeps me rustically at home, or, to speak more properly, he stays me here at home unkempt. For call you that keeping for a gentleman of my birth, that differs not from the stalling of an ox? His horses are bred better, for besides, that they are fair with their feeding, and they are taught to their manage, and to their end riders dearly hired. But I, his brother, gain nothing under him but growth, for the which his animals are on the dung hills as much bound to him as I. Besides, this nothing so that plentiful he gives me, the something that nature gave me his countenance seems to take from me. He lets me feed with his hinds, and bars me the place of a brother, and, as much as in him lies, minds my gentility with my education. It is this, Adam, that grieves me, and the spirit of my father, which I think is within me, begins to mutiny against this servitude. I will no longer endure it. Yet I know not a wise remedy how to avoid it. Oh, I am no villain. I am the youngest son of Roland de Bois. He was my father, and he is thrice a villain that says his such a father begot villains. My father charged you in his will to give me good education. You have trained me like a peasant, obscuring and hiding me from all gentlemanlike quantities. The spirit of my father grows strong in me, and I will no longer endure it. Therefore, allow me such exercises as may become a gentleman, or by the poor a lottery by my father, the testament that I will go and buy my fortunes. Thank <laughs> you.